Hello. It's time to continue. Hold on. Not you. Uh, you. There we go. Let's take a look at our city. Uh, we welcome back everyone, especially those on YouTube. Hello, Mayor Miko. Hello, Citizen Frackle. We've got a beautiful highway system. Look at all this. It's a little bit longer than I want it to be. But man, do I love it. I love the way that we've got this set up right here. I think the central highway that we've got running through our city right now is fairly robust. This feels very Texas to me. I want to fill all this in with regular city. Everything between the service road and the this other road is stuff that could be filled in. We can, uh, can have a, a road that comes down here and connects like this. If we want to have another little connecting road, this will all get filled in right up to the service road. But we're still going to have this main pod that's out here that's this main area. But we can have all this be like really, uh, really dense downtown area. We really would bulk up uh, the traffic that goes onto the highway and the service roads. But I don't think that that's a terrible idea. I think it's, it's meant to be able to handle that level of traffic. Especially because depending on where they're trying to get to go... Uh, they're going to be able to reach it. I, I think that having a lot of commercial along the service road could be a really good idea. The trucks can come right off the highway, get into the building, and then get right back on the highway and fuck off. And then they don't have to enter any of the suburban areas. They can stay in the main area. I really do like the idea of making this commercial hub. Um, no, not a commercial hub, but just putting some low-density commercial over there. Especially because it says that it wants more. So we can put some low-density residential over here or some high-density residential along the service road over on this side. Um, you know, a, a couple roads, maybe a road that goes out and loops around like this. It doesn't actually connect to this, but just loops around or goes between those two. It just fills in this space really nicely. We could connect this road out there and then have some filling in over here, uh, smaller buildings. Same with this, could go over uh, under the bridge, actually probably be really cute. Right under the bridge and maybe connect in halfway there. Go under the bridge or connect maybe right back in there again. Go over the bridge and make a little cul-de-sac right there. Um, that could also be cute. Just make a little dead end turn. Like there's any number of really cute things. We don't have to, we could do proper cul-de-sacs now because we could set a U-turn availability at the end of a single road uh, because of the node controller. So I think that that ends up being something we're likely to want to do in the future. Just to see it. This is another city. It's my second city ever. So we really are just kind of experimenting as we go. I want to see how, how well this can work. A fully organic design that is really not gridded. Um, really at all. Uh, I want to see if I could just avoid grids the entire way through the city and enjoy just sort of the organic nature. Like, this is a weirdo fucking road, but I don't think it's a bad idea. I just think maybe this should have connected down here, but I really liked the idea that this road was the one that connected to it. I really do think that this just connecting in there at a T-junction probably would be better, getting rid of this loop right here at all. Um, and I may, I may in fact do that, actually, now that I'm looking at it. The more I look at it, the more I think that's just what we need to do. All right, get off the road, citizens. You were warned. You had at least five nanoseconds to make your turns. They didn't do it. Fuck them. They get to suffer. All right, let's take a look and see if we can find... Let's see, this is a six lane. It's just going to go straight right into it. Only downside is that there's an intersection here and then a very short intersection here again with what is supposed to be a high traffic road. It's my only concern. Um, but the traffic should manage itself fairly well. Let's go ahead and make sure that we are looking at our junctions the way that we want them to be. Uh, God, do I want to... I think a two-way stop here. Let the people get off of this intersection just fine. Let the other people stop. Yeah. This is how the stop signs are set up in a couple areas where they have roads like this. Here, locally. Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's start thinking about how we want to start uh, putting stuff on the service road. Really, the service road doesn't end up getting uh, stuff put directly on it. It, the service road will have small roads that come off to the side and those end up being like little shopping malls. Like this right here probably would loop. Honestly, this probably will take this street and loop under the underpass here and continue through. Maybe end up making a connection onto the north loop. I-69 south right there. Uh, maybe this road will loop back out there and connect up to it as it does that. Maybe this road will end up connecting out to the right. 
there are any number of really good options that we have here. Uh, and I, I think that getting these roads connected is going to allow us to expand our city. So let's go ahead and just plan. try and get hello <laughs> it, okay it did not want to build the road there for a second how, how close is that that's pretty fucking close so that bridge is a little bit too low for us to go under the underpass like that under the overpass that's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and get rid of this road then. We need to plan to not be able to go under there. Which means we probably are going to do just a loop like that. So let's go ahead and make that happen as well. And I think that's just fine. We could probably even do a mid-road here. Probably right off of this node, honestly. Connect those two nodes right there. This is too close to have another intersection, though it would be nice. I, ideally, in the perfect world, would be able to get away with this. Um, I have seen exchanges that are that that quick, but they're dangerous as fuck. That's a really quick intersection to have to make. Between the on-ramp and the bridge, I generally don't want to put stuff. It's this section right here that's prime real estate to put uh, intersections on. We could have this bridge over, but I, I don't want to make an intersection there at all. Having this road loop back north again, I think could be a good idea. We've got this ready to zone. This road needs to be turned off or it's zoning real quick because that's going to make it a lot easier for us to make sure that the zoning is set onto the proper road. There we go. And that feels good. We don't want to zone off of the, although we can, we'll, but we'll turn on the zoning later if we really want it to be there. If we want to place a building on it. But having the commercial along this area, having commercial in these little spots uh, is really good because they're going to want to connect through. Like this is a good spot to put some commercials right along here, right at the base of the bridge. I do plan to have commercial going along it, but we'd have a little, like a little strip mall there. We have a bunch of commercial around this middle circle. Um, we have some commercial around this circle as well that's meant to service this entire area. Uh, but having more... I suppose it's not a bad idea to have some of the... some of these roads set up to do zoning. But it's mostly just so we can place these service buildings and then get rid of them. Get rid of the zoning on, the, uh, on those roads. Like a little bit of commercial zoning through here would make a lot of sense. There's a lot of traffic. Uh, for a business to be able to get that kind of business that they're looking for. We do have a bit of commercial demand, so let's just let's just zone in a couple of these buildings over here. There we go. Let's just see what we get over here. Not these tiny bits right here, uh, but definitely the rest of them. Let's see if we can get some substantial little commercial buildup over there. Because it's going to get some good traffic. And it's going to be, again, right off the highway. I think it's going to be pretty easy for us to see the benefit of that. And again, it wants us to... It wants more commercial. It wants more uh, residential. Of course it does. Tons of residential. I think it's time to start putting in our pathways through here. We've got some random hill action going on. I don't know where that came from. Okay. Let's get our pedestrian walkways through here. There we go. What is all this shit? Okay, I'm not even going to look at it. This area, I think we want to try and look at getting... I like the amusement park paths. These are interesting. Um, a zoo path. I like the idea of a zoo path. Let's get all of our... There we go. Let's get all of that turned off. And we want to see if we can get some walkways through here that are going to make some sense. We've got our walkways through here, and people are using them a lot. I'm trying to think of any other areas where walkways would make a lot of sense. Of course, we can add crosswalks where we need to, which is nice. 
Pedestrian pathways seem like they'd be good for crossing streets without having to cross the streets. Like they bridge over, they tunnel under. But if we look down here, a lot of people are using these to get around to avoid having to take the crosswalks, but they are taking the crosswalks as needed, which is nice. I want to take a look at uh, the line details again. Make sure this is working well. Nice. Let me take a look at the budget control. No, no, I don't want budget control. Sorry. 13% car trip saved. That's not great. That's not amazing, but... Uh, it is helping. Let me take a look at this other one. Uh, not the pink rail. I need to recolor them. I need to recolor them. Let me take a look at the lines that we have. This is the uptown line. This one is going to be blue if it's within a city area. Uh, up, up uptown. There we go. If it's between, then it'll be the hot pink. So let me take a look at the blue here. Okay. Let's see, 34% car trip saved. So that's pretty good. I like that number being as high as possible. We've had routes that reduced by 70%. We've had routes that were massively reduced. Um, definitely would like to see that again. Some of these roads I'd like to upgrade. Um, would like to upgrade to have either, like, no parking on them. The ones that are not residential, I definitely think could be upgraded. Let's go ahead and do some of that. It also reduced noise pollution on some of these big roads. I don't know if we have access to those yet. No, we don't. These are at 5,500. Okay, so these tree-lined roads and grass roads are at 5,500, which we're at 4,000 people, making quite a bit of money too. Um, let's go ahead and do a bus route. I'm wondering if we have a bus route that's for this, a bus route that's just for this district, a bus route that's for this district, and then we have the one that goes around the outside again. Um, we'd have to redo this one. I, I kind of like that idea. They all connect to the uptown circle on one of the quadrants. And then we do a pedestrian walkway that gets them to, to these crossings. Which, speaking of crossings, we should add some through here now that we know that we can. There we go. You crossing and then on to this side as well. There we go. This makes me feel so much better. We have these crossings for people to be able to comfortably get across. They do still have to cross the street, but um, yeah, this should be fine. They have the ability to cross without having to go all the way down here to do it. We don't have to build in a, a walkway in order to accomplish that either. There we go. Yeah, people are getting into their cars uh, once they get onto the street, which is unfortunate. We'd really like them to be able to just drive or uh, walk wherever they want to go. I wanted to focus a lot more on pedestrian walkways, but I guess I'm, I'm not really understanding how to do that effectively. People are coming into the park to get through the city, which is good. If we take a look at the park, Uptown Park, we've had 13,000 visitors already. The only reason we don't have a five-star park is... Well, we're really not making any money. We might as well make it free. Get as many people in here as possible. There we go. But the buses, I mean, they look like they're functioning. I just really wish... I really wish I knew how to design a city in which foot traffic was the goal. That would be nice. Because they don't like crossing streets, and I don't blame them. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. Uh, what we can do in the meantime... I mean, because like, I'd love to be able to see on any given alleyway behind houses we see people walking. Like, I've added these in the idea that they'll be able to cross blocks without having to... They still have to cross the streets. Like, the whole idea is that we would eliminate street crossing. But we'd have to build these blocks much larger to build that facility. Because you'd, you'd end up having to do something... You'd have, Man. The way that in my brain it works is you would have to do something where you've got your street that goes like this, but then it goes under. 
and then it comes out the other side like that so that they can get across without having to cross the street you know if, if officially but then you also have the ability for them to get onto that tunnel so you have to have you know you have to have walkways like that in order to go from the sidewalk to that tunnel to be able to get underneath so that ends up creating like this this would be fine because this house was very small we'd have all this space to work with but on this side we don't like it's right there so I, I don't know, I just don't feel like we have a lot of options there with how that's <laughs> with how that works. We have to really plan around it in in working that way. To stop them from ever having to cross the street. We could do that if we do what like Liquid Media was talking about, which is putting your highways underground. We could probably put our roads underground. Um, where each of these, and that, that feels like a really cool idea actually, is that each of these streets is a tunnel that leads to it. It's otherwise isolated. These main roads are all underground, but then they tunnel up, and then the rest of the surface is just walkways. Just walkways between these areas. The buses run underground, all that stuff. If you want to drive, you get underground, otherwise you walk in the sun. All I know is that this line is getting used quite a bit. Which is good. Car trip saved 41% now. That's very good. That's the that's the kind of number we're looking for. I'd love to be able to get around to that number for all of them. 63%. They prefer to use this instead of driving. So we were reducing cars by 63% in that district. Not enough workers over here, eh? We need we just need more population. Listen! Business is competitive, bitch. You're a new business. You don't just get... You do not have the right to stay in business, okay? You have the right to open your business. What happens after that point is up to the, the fucking market forces. Go fuck yourself. You clearly had a bad business. And you went out of business as a result. Bitch. Try paying your people a living wage. Maybe people will want to work there. These are the people that pay, like, minimum wage and would pay less if they could. And then are like, nobody wants to work anymore. That's these people. Go fuck yourself, organic foods. They're the kind of person that would pay, that would have like grocery workers get tips, not tell anybody that they get tips, and then pay them like two and two dollars an hour, just to fucking save some cash because they're corporate greedy assholes. And they're like, why does nobody want to work for us? What a great company. We we have fucking pizza parties. <laughs> Then they go out of business, as they should. You can't put two of the same business over here. m and Clothing. No, listen, you can't. <laughs> you can't just put. How are you doing this? Quiet Corner Shop and General Store. You're the same business twice. How are you doing this? You're literally competing with yourself. Too many, too many of my dick over here. It's a, it's a problem. The public transit is working. I do think eventually these streets are going to get grown a bit. We're just going to have to eminent domain some of the houses that border it, which is okay. I'm okay with that. I do think I'd want to do a city or maybe a neighborhood in there where we only plot larger buildings. Not necessarily 4x4, four four, but nothing less than 4x3. Like a 2x3 or this 1x1 one one would be banned. Like small building ban would be a nice policy. Yeah, I can't believe how popular uh, Uptown Park is, but man, when you're going to have a, a park in the middle of your town, they are going to use it to get through. A Whataburger surely will have enough workers in it. It's being run by one person. It's just the general manager running everything, running the front, running the back, waiting tables, everything. Holy shit, this place is going to have a hard time. Oops, not my fault though. I would definitely like to get some high density, but we're holding strong at 4,000 population, and I, I think, honestly, we're going to uh, expand even more, but i got to figure out where we want to do that. I think down here is a good spot to do it. This is a great spot for another big neighborhood. Maybe a pair. Make it like a figure eight. Uh, I do know that part of what I want to do today is get this road network set up, this eight-lane road I want to go ahead and tunnel through. Um, where I just want it to stay at its current level, but burrow through the side of that hill and then come in later and do a key wall around it, which maybe we should go in and do the key wall now. 
I'm not sure. Okay. Just, I'm spending a lot of time just kind of looking at the city, just planning things. I feel like I should make crossings down here for people to be able to get, a, you know, across these moments. I feel like that's not a bad idea. If we see people that are going from one, like they're leaving here and going around and doing this, then that's a problem. Maybe they would be willing to do something like that. You know, cross right outside of here. Let me just take a look at where these crossings would even be. One right there in the middle. Feels like it's about equidistant. I don't think that one ends up working out very well. We can add a crossing wherever we want. <laughs> we can add one. We can add one right there. Um, I like the idea that there's uninterrupted passage. You know, that's a good spot. Right there, middle, bend stretched crossing. If someone wants to cross there, they can. I would love to see a pedestrian action do it, but it's going to take it. Look, as early as that. Wherever they want to get, they, they'll be able to go. That's a good crossing. I know, like, it's it's a yield crossing. That's all it is. I don't like that it's that close to an intersection, but, man, that's just the, that's the problem with planning. These guys are fine. Absolutely a crossing in front of the... Uh, in front of the school. Absolutely there's a crossing in front of the school. There's a crossing available right there. There's a crossing there. Let's put a crossing here. This is probably the only area that we're going to do this in, but it just feels nice. It just feels right. Adding these crossings right at that point is theoretically you can walk the entire loop if you want. You can walk the entire thing if you like. Yeah, you have to cross the street to do it, but you have the ability to leave the park and cross the street and then go into the next section of the park or that's just where you cross and you're off to where you need to go. I want this to be a walk-friendly city. I don't know if there's a policy. Um, I don't know if there's a policy that says prefer walking. I could do... Listen, there's a possibility that we say... Um, no cars. <laughs> we just tell them no cars. I think it's under city planning. We don't have the availability to even look at that right now, but I'm really interested in the concept that we just tell them in certain districts, you just don't drive. I love the ability to add the crosswalks at certain spots. I think it just makes sense the places that we've added them. Also, none of our industry has come back, by the way. <laughs> There's no industry demand. It may be a bug because we changed the Franklin Park to be a certain uh, a certain type of industry. They are super not happy over here. That's okay. That's fine. Power and water are pretty low. If we're going to expand a neighborhood, it's going to it's going to require an expansion of our services as well, which is okay. It's totally fine. People are parking on the. <laughs> no, no, no! You don't park on a service road. Can I set that policy over here? Oh no. You're not allowed to park over here, fucking Siobhan. Siobhan Lewis. This Annabelle Street seems like a great place to add a couple services. Hide them away. It's a good spot. We got some of these buildings upgrading now, which is really, really nice. Some of them are already fairly high level. It's weird that some of them are like level one, but then this one across from it's almost level four. Like, come on. What are you doing wrong? It's because they have seniors. They have people who aren't looking for city services like um, schools. We do have a senior center over here. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at the senior center coverage. It's all right coverage down there. We don't have any senior services over here at all. It's a big building. Senior care definitely takes up a lot of space, which is okay. I don't hate the idea of putting it there, maybe right over here. I think it could fit right there. If we put on Anarchy, I think that'd be just fine. 
six seniors, 26, 1,258 seniors. That's over a quarter of our city of senior citizens. Average health, 67%, 80% for childcare. Healthcare availability is very high. Average health is 74. Elder care could be better. It's because we don't have anything over here. I'm really tempted to put this in. What's the maintenance? Uh, uh, almost a thousand, damn. Health is good. If we were being super dystopian, we would say that elder care needs to be lowered. Because we want them cycling through. Like, here's a death wave probably coming on. Um, eventually, all those seniors are going to have to die, and we're going to have a dip. That's why we hold on to our cash. Some of these businesses are doing pretty well. Almost going to be tier three. They're getting there. Attract wealthier companies to allow the buildings to be upgraded. Well, that's more... That's more just going to be a matter of time. A lot of these buildings are going to be just, just a matter of time until they level up. Yeah, the highest rated buildings are going to be the ones with kids in them, I think. It wants more residential. I think we just need to work on our infrastructure for roads. Just work on the road infrastructure for now. I think this road is probably going to do a little bit of a bend down this and curve into this guy. We're going to have this four lane come down and mix up to this guy. And then from here, probably have that one curve in like that and have those two roads come together. A road that goes like that to connect into that loop and then one that probably goes into the middle there like that and then fill all this stuff in. We are gonna eventually fill all this in. I want it to be completely carpeted. Um, there aren't gonna be a lot of forested areas. I want this to be a carpeted city, uh, much in the way that Suckbuckville was, except that we did have a couple areas that were sectioned off, but it was mostly sectioned off by a river. Here, I want the highway to be the divisor, and I want it to be almost a minor highway in this eight-lane road. Um, which is weird. It's going to have a lot more capacity than the highway itself does, which is interesting. We probably could stand to upgrade the highway eventually, at least for the inner city area of the highway. We add a lane, go up to four. Four lane would probably be pretty good. Yeah, let's go ahead and add a bus route, but I think I'm going to do four. One for Applegate, one for Laurel Quarter, one for Spruce Parks, and one for Empire Field. I have a feeling that that's going to work out well for us. Let's do Laurel Quarter first. I would love if it would highlight the city services. Like if I had a library in here, something that was definitely a high, high priority to get to. I think that we add a, our major stop right there. Can add a stop right... That's a, such a short, inter, short little street for us to be adding a stop to like that. Let's get that block. Let's get that block. This block is taken care of already. This one only has to cross one street. That one only has to cross one street. So at this point, I think we can make that line. And I think two vehicles. Let's just take a look and see what our traffic is like. This one's going to be blue. Oh, yeah, orange is fine. Orange is good. Let's do two. So over here, we're going to do Applegate Square, which we're also going to stop right there. I think that's a good stop. This is a great stop right there. Oops. That's a good stop. That's a good stop. That's a good stop right there. I think stopping right across from here and then making a crossing between the bus stops is a good thing right there. I also want to kind of loop back in through this area again. Let's see. Is there any unserved blocks? I don't think so. I think stopping at Applegate Circle and then having it loop back around to like right here. Have it stop right there. And then off to the commercial center. I think so. Uh, let's see, vehicles. 
Let's do three vehicles on this one. We've already got a bunch of people coming in. Oh boy, this one's gonna be popular. Let's go to four. I have a feeling we're gonna need four through here as this, as this builds up a bit more. It's not the most elegant route, but I think it's going to serve well enough that these people are gonna be able to make these exchanges over. We may even have a bus route that just circles. One, two buses that just route around this all day. Just go in circles, that's all they do. It goes there to there to there to there in each of the quadrants and it connects them that way. But I think they can walk here, cross one street, get on this bus and be anywhere in here. Uh, only ever having to cross two streets maximum. I mean, let's try it. I think this is a good stop right there. This is a great stop right there. That's a good one. We'll stop here as well. Uh, man, I really do feel like if we were to stop right there and then just come back home. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. And then let's go ahead and have just two two bus routes there. I really like the idea that we're going through the, the quarters here. I like this setup a lot better. Uh, than how we're doing it on the other side. Let's go down to this guy, because this, this block is being served by only having to cross the one street here. This block doesn't get served. We could add a bus stop right there, but I really feel like we should add it to the side here. Let's add another stop there, then I really want to get into this area, right outside this. Ah, you know what? Let's back up a bit. I think we're gonna go ahead and do this. And I think we're gonna stop right there. Then I think we make this stop. Right there. Then I think we make a stop right there two blocks up. And then I think we complete the line. It's really important to me that we get into here. I want to make sure that this place is connected on this bus route. And, and by that, it's connected to everyone else. Because I'm pretty sure that's a library or that's a school. Six stops, four buses. I think three buses is enough. Let's take a look at our lines. Nobody, nobody on this one that we just made. This uptown inter interconnection there is pretty busy. This uptown line has a lot of people on it. Nine stops, four vehicles, 16 passengers. It says 16, but that's not necessarily the truth. I feel like three buses probably could handle this. It's also going to grow over time. It's one of those things where it's going to grow over time. And buildings should be growing from this uh, as they get access to a bunch of new stuff. Especially these businesses should be very happy that there are bus stops right outside. We're gonna see these grow over time. Let's see what this passenger line is looking at. Let's go down to two buses. Get one of these off the road. Doesn't look like this one's getting used very much. We're also on speed one. Speed three, things are gonna increase over time. We'd love to see the effectiveness of this one. Car trip saved 100%. There is still some pedestrian traffic, but it really isn't much. We've got a lot of buses running on the road right now, but not a lot of cars. I think that's nice. Yeah, you're seeing a lot of buildings upgrade. Not rapidly, but man, the quantity, not necessarily the speed is pretty high. We've got the one bus route for all of this. We really only have like this lower area and maybe this top area we could do. We don't really have the quadrants being that large. It'd be Cherry Center, yeah, Cerulean Hills. 
it's not quite set up the same way that this one is this one the quadrants are a lot bigger it is a, a slightly larger area in general I'd love to see a scorecard that said, you know, average trips saved per week overall. Car trips saved. Okay, so this is going to be the Applegate, Applegate line. Yeah, let's do that. This one over here is going to be the top left. Yep. Empire Field line. There we go. There we go. Hey, glad you're joining the show, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Laurel quarter line. And then we've got Sterling Spruce Parks. Spruce Parks line. Uh oh, let's get that fixed. Stickler for details, man. You got to be. The Uptown line only has 32, but the Applegate line has 35 just on its own. Let's check and make sure the capacity is being served. It is. We could even remove a vehicle. Which I want to. I don't want there to be any more than there have to be. We really are trying to reduce the number of cars on the road. And in fact, one thing that would really help with this is if we have the car maintenance. I don't know where it is. Oh yeah, pedestrian roads. I forgot about this. Yeah, boardwalks for mixed traffic. Gravel roads allow pedestrians to walk fast and easy. And you can build buildings along them. So you can do an area that is just for pedestrian foot traffic to walk through. It's really nice. Intersections, highways, road condition. Uh, we don't have access to it yet. We will. Really, a lot of what we're trying to do is reliant on the next uh, milestone for population, which we're holding steady at about 4,200, give or take. We have a lot of old people in, in the city. I'd love an opportunity to actually see a breakdown of our ages. I don't know if we can do that somewhere. Population. Ah, there we go. 31% elder. Our biggest group. Unemployment, 1%. That's fucking great. Jobs available. People employed. We have a lot of unfilled jobs. That's why the demand for uh, residential is so high. We are losing. We're declining population slowly. But people should be having babies. They should be... Oh, yeah. There they go. There's the boom. <laughs> There's the boom. So what is this color scale? Mostly adults, mostly seniors, mostly families. We want to see mostly families moving in. Uh, we want to see groups of people because that's going to be growth. Mostly adults is just going to be workforce, but they don't have kids, which is fine. It's fine if there's a minority of those, and that's what it looks like it is. Perfect. Lother Edge. What's up, dude? Let me check on Core Keeper. Umbreon is committing genocide. As long as he's not killing the boss, then he's good. As long as boss, boss Kuhn is, is uh, alive, we're good. Outside connections. Let me take a look at this. Goods. We have a lot of goods being brought in. We don't have a lot of internal industry to deliver uh, goods to our own buildings. So they are, they are importing, I'm pretty sure. Exporting forestry products, really? We're importing about 500. Well, I really <laughs> I like these bus lines. This Applegate circle, you can see where it, it, in, it injects itself into the inner circle here. I almost feel like this would be a better place to do it is right there. Um, and then have it connect around again. But uh, I don't think it's a bad idea to have it the way that it is. God, it's bright, isn't it? Eventually, we're going to have metro lines that connect each of the circles. This circle to that circle to this circle. And that's basically how we're going to set them up is this is a nucleus uh, of transit. And the buses will handle everything within that district uh, or that section or that town, if you will, or that smaller subtown. We continue to upgrade our buildings, though. It's looking good. Traffic, I want to take a look at this. Traffic is looking gorgeous. We've still got 83% traffic flow. This right here is a potential issue because of this light. Given the likelihood that traffic is only really going one way here on Myrtle Street, we're going to make an adjustment here. Instead of a light, we're going to have a two-way stop so that traffic doesn't have to stop here at all. Allow it to go through, be unimpeded on its way. So let's go ahead and take a look at our traffic report again. This right here is kind of an issue. 
This is why I wanted this road connected directly in. Um, but I could curve this. Uh, I could curve the ramp. There's no really no re There's no reason not to do it. There's no reason not to curve this ramp in there. <sighs> yeah, we need to do it. We need to do it. it it's it's what it, it. Fuck that guy. He moved in. He should know that that plot was cursed. Finally, it's time to start my business. I've waited my whole... What are you doing? Fucking dead. Okay. This won't cost us any, any mental energy to do. It's not ideal, but it's not bad. The crosswalks are a little rough, but yeah. It's a six-lane road. It needs to stay a six-lane road until this point. Now I don't mind there being a light here. Um, although I might just have it be through traffic. This this four-lane into a uh, two-lane here is, is going to be... Or sorry, the six-lane into a four-lane here is going to be crazy. Uh, let's take a look at the junction here. I'm going to have a stop sign on either side, but allow the through traffic to go through. This looks like it's going to work out pretty well. Had to do a little bit of a curvy curve there, but it allows this road to continue straight through, and that should improve traffic flow. Which, there's a lot of pedestrian traffic going back and forth still. Let me take a look at this. Wow, these buses are full and backing up. That's probably why people are still driving, is that they, there is no room on the bus. We've got six vehicles all running, and these guys are just staying full. They're dropping off all 30 and then picking up 30 again. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening, because there are only two stops. Anyone here is trying to get there. So it should be fine. Yeah, we're maintaining. We're maintaining. 57%. See, let's take a look at this one. 100% car trip saved. Wow. It, it's an estimation. It's not, you know, it's not literally saving 100% of traffic. We still have quite a bit that's going between these, and I'm wondering where they're going. They're commercial. There are people coming over to shop, which is great. I'm glad that they are. And you know what? I bet this is the deliveries. Yeah, it looks like these are deliveries, probably coming in off the highway. I'd like to see it. Take a look at some of these roads that are coming in off the highway. These guys were not. These are pedestrians. Yeah, get back on the highway. Some of these are delivery trucks. Let's take a look at this little wave over here. Yeah, these are delivery trucks. Vans, importing goods, importing goods. Going to the Bent Birch res residence importing goods. Yeah, a lot of this is just bringing stuff into the commercial districts, which are in the heart of these guys. Hey, Lala Fufu, good to see you. Welcome back, man. Yeah, fuck that guy for sure. Who builds right there? Who builds right there? You stop that. What are you doing, you fucking psychopaths? You stop that. Let's unzone this so that, well, they've stayed in business. They get to live. There we go. Turn that zoning off. Yeah, I, uh, this, this right now is going to be less, uh, trafficked as well at this point. But not untrafficked. So a lot of the traffic we're seeing is just these two roads connect. Like, we're not seeing traffic on this guy, the eight lane. We're seeing it on the six lane. But it's not traffic traffic. We don't have jams. We don't have backups. We have... No, it's looking great. Sure, you have to wait. You have to wait for a minute, but you're going to go. A lot of this traffic ends up being completely un unstopped. I love that we have a turning lane here. This is fantastic. So it's not going to. If we have a bunch of people that want to go this way, they can. They're not going to get stopped by the rest of traffic. These this way has a, a stop sign, but this way just goes through. So traffic should be fine. I don't mind that there being imports like this. It doesn't bother me at all. 
I just want to really closely monitor the traffic situation because we're trying to get rid of pedestrian traffic, but we're still going to have commercial traffic. And that commercial traffic does have to be monitored. Okay, I do think that that's working. Our money is good. We're sitting at 4200 bucks. We're not going to expand our city anymore. No more suburbs until we have... Four lane highway? No, no, no. Until we have... Where's my eight lane road? There it is. Until we have the infrastructure set up that we're looking for. Let me just get this tunnel in here. And I really wanted it to burrow into the side of the hill, but it looks like it's just gonna have to go down from this point. I don't hate it. Um, it isn't really what I was looking for, but I could do a nice key wall right on the front of this and that will work. Okay, so now we wanna get this to curve. And we're gonna get this to come back up over here. You know, we, ah, oh, you know, that's kind of beautiful if we have it coming out of this. It's kind of beautiful. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. And here we are just going to have a straight road again. Yeah, hold on. We're going to pull that back. We're going to pull that back. We want that tunnel entrance to be right at that wall. It's always going to push it back a bit. You know what? I don't hate that. Because we're going to have this now curve south. And this becomes the big spine that runs through the rest of the city down here. We're going to have it go shh right through the middle of everything. We have a train right there. A train line just fucking stops right there. Wow. Well, that gives us kind of laissez-faire permission to uh, run it run it that way, really. I want it to have it curve back around this way. And then cross over to here and see if it can make it up that incline. Uh, because over here is where I want to do my industry stuff. Although, honestly, I should check my resources again. If we're going to do farming industry, it's going to need to be over here. But We do have forestry opportunities over here, just not very much. Um, if we're going to want to do... I don't think that we do a lot of industry. I think that this is going to be a city where we don't rely on industry in the way that we did in the last one, where it was basically all of our money making was industry. Here, I think we're going to be making money just on the raw power of population and taxes. I think that's just going to have to be how it is. And I don't hate that. Yeah, we're going to have to do a, a Texas Clover right here on this. It's going to, it's probably going to be very much like this, except the service road will curve down here. This one will curve up and then we'll have the service road that goes down there. And then this one comes down and we're probably going to end up having to do a big old Clover. I don't think we're going to have a highway down, though. I think the service road will come in and loop this way and then just go right again. It'll also just go right again to follow there, but it'll also loop down this way. Although we have this really big dip right here. We'll probably bridge over it. Come back in and make this uh, a transportation hub. We could do a little airport over here. We could have a little university that's nestled right into the corner here, perhaps. Um, different class buildings that are up here on the top. Maybe this is a big university area. I want to do a university. We wanted to do one last time, but we didn't quite get to it. I'd love to be able to put uh, like a, a stadium right over here. I feel like that'd be a great spot because look at the view you'd get once we start building this up. I think it's going to get beautiful. We could put some high density along the river. Um, we really have isolated these roads to be able to handle high traffic, but we haven't put anything on them yet. 
That's because I want to put high density along the outside potentially, or I want to put high density along the very middle of it. I'm not sure. Because usually you'll have like these high density areas and then it sort of tapers out into low density and then suburbs on the very outside. But what if we did it kind of the opposite where the, the high density was around the highway, but then it tapers out into these little pod neighborhoods that these end up being the suburbs. But the high density sort of surrounds them. Kind of like that idea. Kind of like that idea. But let's continue with this eight lane road. I want to get this to just, just to go where it needs to go. Let's give it a bit of a length that's just straight before it starts curving. Let's go ahead and give it I know that, and I know this is quite expensive. And I do, I don't think this rail is gonna stay here. But I love that this comes down, and then we end up getting a big section of the city that's gonna be down here that maybe ends up being terraced. Um, but that we have this wonderful boardwalk. We have this wonderful boardwalk area that does go along the edge. I mean, I think this is a gorgeous feature and we should keep it comes down maybe we do a, a key wall right along the edge here and we have a big old boardwalk that comes out a big old pier an entertainment pier sort of like they have in california we could do that we've got the walkways for it this one too could tunnel in here and then come up but there's a, speaking of a tunnel that comes up there's a uh, i want this tunnel to come out like this and then end up we put our topography back on um and it can dead end right over here and then do a U-turn. But I do want there to be a, a line that just goes up like this that maybe, depending on what we want to do up here, I think honestly this might be our high density areas. We just put it up above and it sort of looks down over the suburbs. <laughs> or maybe this is a ritzy suburban area uh, that looks out over the higher density. Like maybe this all becomes high density later on. The roads are not ready for high density. I built this for suburbs. We've got to keep that in mind. I, this was built for suburbs. These outer roads here, like Emerson Street is, which should wrap all the way around. Yeah. Oh, damn. This is, Emerson Street is massive. I feel like Emerson Street should just be like this side. Um, Even then, maybe it needs to go to about halfway, and then there's another road for the other side. Maybe it goes up until this. Um, man, I'm trying to think about where my high density is going to go. Maybe there is just no high density up here. Maybe this is just... Yeah, we're, we're weighing the green. We're good. Hear me out. All of our high density goes on the waterfront. And until the waterfront, low density. And how about we also do this? Rather than doing big retroactive changes to the city, we allow us to have sort of the old town that is this. And we allow it to stay the old town in the same way that we did uh, with Suckfuck Square back in uh, Suckfuckville. Um, there was that big section right south of Squishy Chicken Farms that stayed low density, didn't get its roads upgraded, uh, stayed two lane roads for the most part the entire time and then we didn't add high density to it we built new high density areas and we planned for them around being high density we kind of planned around them being high density but um, I definitely think that we're just going to leave these in their in posterity as they are uh, expand the suburbs of course as we're doing here expand into these open areas because we have the availability there we should use that availability but otherwise for the most part we're not trying to we're not trying to turn this into a downtown area we're gonna make a new downtown area and expand as needed nice just watch this upgrade yeah, I mean, our population is slightly growing, and it's because our buildings are upgrading, but it's also because we're just steadying out. 
especially as we get rid of old people. <laughs> Younger people are going to come in. Um, water availability is something we could work on. I just add a second water tower somewhere and we'll be fine. Um, I'm going to not touch this yet, but we know that we're going to have this tunnel that we can have it come up to the surface here. Go down this way and have a big U-turn, and then that's basically services the rest of this with little smaller side streets. Um, I really like that idea. With this, I do think that we get down to the water's edge and we build up our density down here with key walls. I think we key wall here, but we have breaks where we're able to get down to the water and perhaps we do key walls here at the very bottom just by the water's edge where... We need to find our topographical base, baseline, and I think it's gonna be this broad, broad line here. And hear me out. I think we're going to do that because right at here is about where the water's edge is. It's this line right here. If we did a key wall following that, that line all the way down, I think we would preserve the beauty of this feature, but then get the functionality of allowing this, this delta to naturally form and, and maintain this delta. Don't take it away. But start our key wall maybe back here, not all the way up the river. Start our key wall maybe around here where there might be like levees where it might flood near the delta. Um, have the key wall follow that natural topography. Maybe cut it here. Or maybe have it where it goes like that and then it starts up again down here. Or maybe where it just goes there and that's it. Uh, maybe our next topographical line is going to be this one. Where it goes here and it goes down. And then we set a new key wall right here that connects into the side of it. Maybe right up there. We taper that down this key wall comes around here and follows through we fill that in and it just goes it just goes until about right there and then it just tapers out with the land using these topographical lines to lay out the shape of your city i think is one of the most beautiful things you can do using the natural landscape and then building around it um another key wall that starts here because it, we're gonna we're gonna tear us in between these so all of these smaller grid lines are gonna get pushed back up to the wall and we're gonna have nice buildable uh, regions probably using this as our next line to come through and maybe even retroactively pulling it up to that road where it then tapers down pull up against this yeah this is nice because then we can have that we can have that wall go all the way around here just a massive wall where it tapers in like this connects in back to that wall again where I think maybe even this doesn't go to the road this one kind of goes to about right there and then stops right where it would flatten out right there it's not much of a meaningful change there it's so gradual I like that idea then we've got this big area up here which maybe becomes an airport we have a big road and eight lane just splits off here and it goes up there to the airport goes over here to some other thing or maybe this doesn't maybe we don't even key wall this Maybe we just key wall this. Maybe we flatten that out. Like, we could all just dig it down. Who knows? We could pretend there's just a bunch of fucking limestone in there and we quarry the whole thing out. I don't like that, though, because I kind of want to keep it. It feels like we've got... If we were to key wall along this, keep this tapered, but still have a retaining wall, if you will, then flatten the top or key wall around here and have some kind of monument up here, maybe a big old park. Um, we could turn this into a big park or a nature preserve. There's any number of things we could do with this. There's so many options. That's the thing about this game. There's so many great options. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, what are we going to do with all this? It, it's one of those things where you want to play a map three or four times because th that's the only way that you're going to get all these ideas in place, right? We can't do two things with the same line of city. Um... With the cash that we have, 300,000, I think we could lay down some key walls. And from there, we can start planning some high-density residential, some high-density commercial. Although I might get rid of high-density commercial. No, we're going to want some high-density commercial, but we're going to intermingle it with the apartments. Okay. So then that means that we're probably going to build up some residential along this, which I still want to do... The same thing I did over here with this service road that goes along this. We're treating this like a highway. We really are. Travis Morgan Avenue. We're going to call this Main Street. This is, this is our Main Street. 
Um, it is really the spine that runs through the rest of the city. Yeah, Phillips, we're gonna call this Phillips Circle Drive. Phillips Circle Drive, because it really is, it really is a loop. That's all it does. Okay. So I'm, uh, I'm a big fan of this so far. I'm really liking the way this is working. I'm gonna do some measurements before we commit to it though. It is a two lane road. How far out does this go? 10 units, okay. We're gonna do our best to make it, uh, we're gonna start it here. Although maybe we should start it on the straight edge. We'll start it on the straight edge. I know it doesn't stay straight, um, but it does for quite a bit of distance. And it can wiggle within that. Okay. So we're gonna have this. I really wish this would, oh man. I think it starts to bend really around there. It doesn't have to be perfect. You gotta remind yourself it doesn't have to be perfect. He said to himself, struggling. I think it's about right there that we want this curve to change. We're gonna allow this to turn a little bit more aggressively. And it's mostly because I want a 90 degree turn that I can make a nice little road right there. Yeah, I really like the way that this is panning out. I like the way that road pans out. Okay, let's do the same thing over here. About right there, I think, is where it gets its, its curvature. Yep. I think that's good. I think we start turning it about there. You gotta kinda eyeball it, but the better you understand the Bezier lines, I think the better you're gonna be able to do this. Like, I, I've made a mistake of going a little bit too close there. Uh, the road guides are really kinda fucking me up there. Don't, I don't wanna get it, dude. I've been good, don't fucking kill me. Come on, let's do this. So I'm using the, the blue, uh, flange um, where it's showing the distance of the zoning you know I'm, I'm trying to overlap it with being one square overlapped right now um, with the existing zoning off of Main Street I'm trying to just gauge that if I can stay about there then I know I'm about as parallel as I'm probably gonna get there we go I find that that's probably gonna be very successful uh, I really like this because I, I know there's gonna be a connection here I already know for a fact that's going to be a connection, and we're probably going to do it both ways. We know that there are going to need some to be some cross connections, and they're probably going to be at standard intervals, like probably three units. This is going to be like the closest to a grid we get, but it's only for the spine. There we go, and it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, I don't, I don't want it to be perfect. I want it to feel like it's... Oh, right before it starts the big bend. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, three was the right number. Three was the right number. There we go. Perfect. I like that it deleted that little bit at the end. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this as well because we don't want it to continue past. So we've got the spine for the next big section of our city. Um, I think that we make this the next circle right there. We do another circle maybe right over here. Um, the heart of each of these suburban areas ends up being a, a big old big ass roundabout. Not on purpose, it just kind of happened uh, all on its own. And I just, I really like the way that this bows out a little bit. I think that's nice. I like the bulge, uh, who doesn't? I'm gonna get rid of most of this train line. It is only in the way for us right now. 
it is only in the way for us. Right there, I think, is the point at which we can say, okay, we're going to have it connect. Look at the journey this thing takes. What the fuck? I almost think, I don't know how much of this I would be able to edit. Um, but the soonest part that I was able to edit, I would almost want it to turn to the right instead. Follow this topographical line and then start tapering down. Probably right here. Probably follow it because that's going to be too steep. Follow that line, start tapering down there. Probably at that moment, hit this. Um, and then continue here and sort of use the gravitational pull of this thick ass hill and follow it along the base there. Do a little bit of an incline, a little bit of a decline on the other side and end up following along this way. It really ends up getting a lot of the same same destination, but man, does it take a nicer route there. Bulge? Oh, I see a summoned cat. Good. <laughs> This ended up being about three units as well. It's probably like three and a half or four right over here as far as like the distance between these crossroads. This just feels so nice. Let's go ahead and plan our circles and then we'll do our suburbs around them. The circles themselves are gonna be four lanes. <sighs> Is this big enough to really warrant it? Yeah, I think it has to be, and it needs to come off of this as well. Let's do one straight road out of there. And then from there, we know that we can do our circle. The circle doesn't have to have stuff all around it. Let's go 15 units by 15. Let's do a 15 roundabout. Let's do that as a circle. Man, this almost feels like it's going to naturally be a, a proper downtown area, but no, we're just going to make it another smaller suburban suburban road. Um, we are going to have this cross through the middle. Yeah, because that makes it, you have, a, you have a street that comes in, you can stop there at the center, then follow this, and then only have to cross the road one time to get onto the other side. We could almost have another circle right over, right over here. Part of, part of me wants to push this back. Cut that down and have our other circle right over here. I like that. We're gonna do that. I think we have to. Level the terrain. We're gonna go brush size like 70-ish. We're just gonna sculpt this a little bit. I'm gonna push it back a little bit further. Don't do it. Coco, taper this back just a little bit. Uh, strength is going to go down to like 0.38 here. Soften that out a little bit so it still feels natural. Okay. Then, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, this is going to be nice. We're going to do a little circle right there. This is kind of how we, I guess we're doing our city, I, I suppose. Okay, uh, let's do it off of this guy as well. Let's have this go, let's see, 90 degrees, about 10 units out, and then let's start curving it in. Right down the middle. What's with the music? It's Skylines Radio, man. There we go. All right, let's do like a, a 12 here. It's not that big. It's easier if we use this. Oh, the roundabout is so much easier to do if you just use the regular curve tool as opposed to the continuous curve. Okay, and then from there, we're gonna go ahead and pull this across. This is working out pretty well. <laughs> the, the fucking city is just dancing, dude. I like it. We got our spine a couple hands coming out right out of the bulge. All right. Oh, looking good. There's a lot of commercial we could zone. Part of me is thinking that if we... If we played without... 
realistic populations. If we just played with unrealistic populations, if we didn't have that mod on, I wonder if we'd have just a massive commercial strip going down the center here. That's what this spine ultimately would be, is just where all of our commercial goes. Right down Main Street. Hello? Can I click on it? I can. Jet plane, passenger zero. Ah, going to Port Burgle. That's not our city, so fuck them. I do want to do an airport somewhere. I think that this is a great city to put an airport in. Uh, you know, maybe over here, this is a nice long area that we can get a, a lot of the infrastructure for the thing over here and then maybe flatten some of this out for an airstrip. This might be a good spot for an airport. Maybe this is a good spot for an airport. Somewhere that's already mostly flat doesn't need that much terraforming. That could be good. Okay. So now we want to take a look at zoning and we're going to usually do commercial around the outside here. Uh, and then we build our suburbs in, into all of this. I think that I want to have another major four lane. We need to plan out the sort of the borders. And I think from there, This is a four lane, so this is a street that we're not gonna actually be zoning on. So we, we can afford to have this follow the topography. But what I really wanna have happen is, it curves in nicely to the side of that circle. And we end up getting a beautiful connection straight from there all the way down here. A bus could take this. A bus could take this and, and drop off right there and then go around the circle to be able to get back or go around here and take this entire road back. You know, any number of ways that they want to go, they'd be able to. Thinking about... I think our key wall is gonna come in right here and it's gonna taper just to the front of this street and let the eight lane pass it. Right up to that corner is where that key wall is gonna go. I'm fairly confident about that. I need to not be paused because that's how we make our money. <laughs> it's letting time pass. Uh, okay. We're following a topographical line right now. Then we build our suburb in like this. With four lane roads going through to make sure that we have the, the throughput that we need for all of these little sections. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. We map out these big city blocks like this, and then from there we just do two lane roads to fill in the actual residential areas. We make sure that these are our commercial hubs. This main street's gonna get a lot more traffic as we start doing this, because we don't have another highway connection to, to get it to. This is our highway up here. So getting anything down here is gonna mean that this eight lane road is gonna be busy with any of that highway traffic that needs to get into the city. We're not running a highway through here. We're just running this eight lane main street, and then that's, you, you run down main. You just run it down main. I think getting it to connect there would be beautiful. There we go. I love that. Uh, this road, I think, should, we should still have. Follow the topography. Connect in right on the edge of this road right there. It's not too close to that intersection. Although honestly, it is gonna be much nicer for everybody involved if these two roads connect. Yeah, it's gonna be much nicer for everybody if it just does that. And I think this, the same reason over here Same reason there, I think we do exactly that. We can have this curve in nicely that way. Then have this guy connect in nicely that way. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's have, uh, 
Let's have this street continue down this way. Following the topography, we want to respect the hills. Oh, there we go. That's nice. Get that connection in there. I know we're spending a lot of money on roads. Our money is going to start ticking down because we are spending all our money on the <laughs> fucking roads. This is a situation where a lot of roads are kind of pointing at each other. We're going to have this road not actually connect through. Does it need to? It is the main street. Okay. We're going to have that road be the dominant one. We're going to have this road be the dominant one. There we go. This one doesn't need to connect, or if it does, it needs to connect this way. Let's see if we can give it a better internal angle. See if we can get it to come in a little bit better. Because from there, I don't feel bad about doing that. I don't feel bad about doing that. It's a little close. It's a little close. I think it's okay if we have one of these roads that doesn't go all the way through. I mean, it's got to give somewhere, right? Again, it's not all going to be uniform and perfect, and that's one thing that I like about it. I think the same thing over here. I think it's just nicer if we just don't do it. Although I do think this road connecting through all the way is going to be really good as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. This little junction right here is sticking out to me as a potential problem. Having this road come through and become dominant there and then this just connects into it feels a lot better. So that's what we're going to do. Usually I'm like, ah, that could be a problem, but eh, dude, we don't care about it. And then we immediately care about it. But I think that that, I think that seeing something that can be made better and then fixing it is definitely what's going to make this city look really nice. The question is how much do we want to have a road that goes like this? And, you know, connects in down here somewhere. I almost feel like we could afford. If that ain't beautiful. If that ain't beautiful. Oh. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> Hear me out, we do that. And we're gonna have it, we're gonna have it go into an overpass. So it's gonna need to turn here pretty quick. Let's just let's just experiment with this road for a little bit. This guy would go anywhere for me. What a man. We'll make Main Street have a speed limit of like 70. I don't know how to access that information, <laughs> but... Oh no, are all of these lights? Ew! No, 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 no. Get those out of here. Get those lights out of here. Yeah, no, no light there. No light there. No light there. Wow, when did all these lights get in here? Stop that. Okay, there should be like very few actual lights. Like that's a light. We put a light there. Um, yeah, here doesn't. Here could be a light, I suppose. We're about to make it a uh, four-way, so yeah, we probably want that to be a light. Oops. I don't end up loving this. You know, I would though if we made this curve a little bit better. There's no reason that we can't do... There's no reason that we can't do something like... I almost want to go under. Which 
we'd probably just go under right there. Okay, hold on. Let's just try that. Just enough to go under. Okay. So now let's get this pulled up. That feels much better. It's not perfect, but man, that definitely feels better. It's still able to make that connection, make that crossing, but it doesn't have to go over. Even going over still would work here. But this definitely feels better. We have these service roads that connect to one another. There we go. Go to bed, cat. So now that we have There are a couple more four lanes that we need to add, and then we'll be ready to go. To be able to, because we want to, we want to nestle the suburbs that we have. We really are going to connect it probably just right there. Just so we can have some super... Ah, I, do, I really don't like that. No, I don't like that side at all. I think what I'm going to do is have... A road that comes off like this. Yeah, I think let's do this. Follow the topography here, and then it's going to connect into the back of this road right there. I think that's much better, because we can get a proper suburban block through here. Yeah, we can get a proper suburban block to go through here. So now it's time, after all of that, we need to in further increase our budget for roads. But here's the thing. Uh, the population here will provide enough taxes to pay for their services. There we go. I'll turn that down a bit. Um... The, the amount of population we're going to get in here, all these bitches are going to pay taxes. When these bitches pay taxes, we can buy things like electricity. So, we're going to have enough cash. The only thing is that we need to be able to get uh, enough suburban blocking in here. Like this. That's the kind of suburban blocking we're looking for. There we go. I like the idea that there's a cross street right there. There we go. Just there, though. There we go. This is a great little spot for city services right in here. There we go. We just continue the train down. There we go. Again, no grids, but we are still going to have the same lines running through the city. I really don't want to run grids on this city. I love the idea that we're going to put some city services along this block right here. This is really good to me. And then we can change up the direction that we're doing those two streets right there. This block right there can go straight in. Yeah, this is a, this is a spot where I want to start flipping. Yeah, I think that works out well. 
It's a little bit dense. It's a little bit jagged, but man, does it, it makes me happy seeing the roads like this. As long as I'm still like above on my, uh, I'm still, as long as I'm still making money, like we're gonna be okay. <laughs> yeah, this is an area where we're definitely bringing in. It's not really making the best turn there. Let's go ahead and do that. This is really coming in at a bad angle where it's going to want to hit the road right there, but that ends up creating some really bad, some bad juju. What if we put a small park in there? Let's leave this open and put a park in there. A little park would be nice. There we go. Hey, Blake Mac. Good to see you, man. Uh, let's have this road connect through. Yeah, that just works out well. Have that one go there. Do we need another small block here? Not really, but I kind of like it. Because I think that it connects in really well down here. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I think that works. That's a nice long road. Let me do a connector in just right there. Part of me wants to put a road right there, but that's just way too tight. Here we go. The hell are you trying to make? Here we go. That feels all right. <laughs> we'll have to do... That feels all right. It's, it'll be a little tight, but that's fine. A cross street right there. Just to break it up a little bit. I feel like this could continue for one more street. One more block, break that up. I feel like this could continue for one more to break it up. It almost feels like it needs to go all the way in, but it doesn't penetrate past there unless it crosses the entire thing, which it might. It very well could. So the four-lane roads here are not going to have any um, zoning on them. These two-lane roads will, though. So if you see me that I'm, I'm zoning really close to the four lanes, it's, it's because I am, and it's okay. There we go. Let's do this. Oh, an asset for City Skylines. Got it. Got it. This is my second city only, so I don't know shit about this game. <laughs> I really don't like how close these roads are. Um, the way that that connects just feels really weird. It's this road that needs to go. You're the problem, child. There we go. That's fine. Oh, yeah. That's much better. Much better. There we go. Nice. You're going to connect up this way, and then you're just going to connect like a triangle, just like that. I think that's beautiful. have you generally connect down to this again let's have you connect up that way and then let's have you guys bridge over like this my budget for roads is getting blown right now <laughs> oh that's way too close never mind uh, if we had a little bit more space if we had a little bit more space that would work but it just doesn't work. Let's have this guy continue through. There we go. A Kmart for an older city you were making. Yeah, I'd be surprised to find there wasn't a Kmart asset already.
There we go. This road connects through. And we'll go all the way over here. I like that it connects in at 90 degrees. That's much better. I love the idea that this is like a central park right here. Actually, I'm going to leave that block open. We're going to make this a big-ass park. Big-ass little botanical garden. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. Let's try this. That may be a little bit close, but I don't think it's too bad. That's fine. Let's have one more street connecting right there. This is where we're starting to get a lot more dense. So a lot of this will be suburbs, but not all of it. I mean, think about how much, how much city this is. This is about... This is 1.5 bigger than what we have. Oh, there's only one? Oh, no. Well, maybe your asset will double the amount of Kmart's on the asset store. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Vegas, that's, that's how I feel like a lot of players probably are, is that, the, I, you know, the same way that I play no squares in uh, RimWorld. I think that once you release yourself from needing to do grids, if you can, not everyone can, but if you can release yourself from grids, uh, I think you'll be just so much happier. Because what you can create is just, to me, it's just beautiful. That breaks our rule. Your rules can be dumb as long as you're consistent with them. Okay, so we have mapped out the roads for the next uh, 10 to 15,000 population. We may start getting high density around these areas. Because uh, this is where we're going to start to have like proper high density. But we may start some high density along these areas. Maybe these circles will be high-density residential. I think I'm going to go ahead and just plan for that. Leave these open. Put some city services in here. But plan for this to be like a high-density residential. Plan for that to be a high-density residential. Um, Itchy-ass nose. What are you doing today? Yeah. We have a park here. A park here. This will be literally, I'm just going to fill it in with trees and walkways, and that's going to be it. Maybe a little pond. Um, this park is going to have actual assets in it. Yes. I need to turn off the zoning for the roads that will not have it. The spinal road here. This will help us really see what's actually going to get used and what's not. Oh man, it's surreal being able to like click at stuff at that distance. <laughs> Just keep it going, Captain. There we go. That main street will not. These four lane roads will not as well. I believe you will crack the code, Blake. You'll figure out how to make your Kmart. Are you trying to, like, recreate your town or something? That's why you're trying to make a Kmart for it? Yeah, because we're not zoning off these four four lanes, we don't care that it's going to be in the hill. That's why we made the four lanes so close to the hill, so that these two lanes can have the zoning that they need. And because of this ability to take off the four lane zoning, it allows our two lanes to have all of the actual zoning priority. And so it's a little bit tedious, but setting up these four lanes to not take... That's okay. Setting it up so that these four lanes don't take zoning priority over the two lane roads means that our two lanes are going to be really robust. What a wonderful mod. What a wonderful mod. There we go. We've got other four lanes that need to be taken care of as well, and i got to be careful that I'm actually hitting four lanes and not the two lane roads. 
because you're going to see the, I probably, and I should have done this before I connected the two lanes, but the two lanes themselves kind of fuck it up. But you can see the actual area that's going to get zoned uh, as we do this. And it's going to take us some time to do, but it's absolutely worth it. Yeah. Because then we got a lot of other open space uh, that we can pull the zoning back into. This is where we're actually going to have our buildings, because I don't want to zone off of the four lanes. I want the two lanes to be what we're zoning off of. Yeah, that's a two lane. This is the only four lane that we're willing to do, and it's because it's going to be a high traffic area. There we go. So let me get this spine road and all of its service road figured out. Uh, that way it's not adding any kind of buffer. There we go. Beautiful. Just love the way that it flows. If you, it, you just get to designate what you want. You don't have to worry about the rest of it. It's nice. But with you able to turn off zones for certain roads, it just feels like you're able to say, okay, this is just a transit road. That's all it does. We're not putting other stuff on here. We can fill in this area as we want. We can fill in any area as we want. Um, and really, we could put commercial along that road, but I'm not worried about it. We're gonna get these border roads. Because you can see the zoning fill in for the residential side, and we get much bigger buildings, theoretically. We have the ability for much bigger buildings. There we go. For the areas that we really want it to be on. Uh, and I, I think that that makes all the difference. Yeah, there we go. We can leave the zoning for the rest of it. Perfect. Turn off Dean Street because we know that it's a big four lane. We're not interested in zoning off of that guy. Here we go. Turned off the zoning here. This is a four lane that we want to turn off. This is a four lane that we want to turn off. So there's not actually that much getting zoned. You can see over here. This is why we might make it high density. But we've got these little areas. Like this is a pocket where we probably want to put a street through just so that we have some zoning. Like this guy connect there, this guy connect there, but it's such a tight turn. Why not put a park there? I really want to see what's my zoned areas and what are my own zoned areas. Because we could put a park right in here, uh, place it somewhere else, but then move it over here. We know how much space is actually going to get claimed by buildings and how much of it we're going to do. Make a zoo? Yeah, we can make a little zoo. I wouldn't want to do it this close, but yeah, we can make a little zoo. Shit, a zoo over here might have made a lot of sense. We probably still could make a zoo. Probably still could. Okay, this road needs to be taken care of. This road's already been done. This road needs to be fixed. This outer road needs to be fixed. Let's go ahead and get that done. This one goes all the way through. There we go. This is where we're going to put a lot of city services along here. I may be willing to put them on the four lane. There we go. Okay, and then I think we've gone over everything. So now we can see what the actual zonable areas are. Um, and we've got some, this is a very, very long, well, this one is a very long street that goes through. And I'm kind of willing to put it there and maybe have a park down in the back of this. Definitely have a park through here or fill that in. I kind of like it being open. But we've got a lot of open space where we really could have pushed these roads probably further out. Um, I don't think it's a bad idea, though. I don't think it's, <laughs> I don't think it's a problem, right, to have extra space. Um, I'm not looking to build super, super densely. I'm looking to build super deliberately. And I think the way that we've set up these, these roads... I think the way that we set up these roads is we're going to have some really nice little neighborhood blocks. And to me, that's the most important part. 
we're going to have some pretty broad districting as well. Um, we're probably going to have like this, these three sections over here are a district. This whole thing down here is a district. This whole section is a district. This probably will be and that probably will be and then this will be on its own. So one, two, three, four, five, six districts over here, each circle being their own. So eight, eight total districts over here. So yeah, we've got, we've definitely got a good plan for this. And we're going to continue this down. I think at this point, I really want to get a key wall up. I'm going to start looking at how we can put our key walls in. I, I like using the simple seawall. This is from a, a mod, of course. I'm pretty sure. Oh, our Mesto content creator pack. Ah. Um, because we, I like this topographical line. If we have it start right over there and pull this way, we can start terracing. Terracing is beautiful. My character in core is turning as I move my mouse around to show off things. Let me take a look at what's going on in core keeper. Yeah. I'm going over there farming shit. Nice. Yeah, play as much as you guys want. I'm going to leave the game up. All right. So let's start. Let's see. Let's start our key wall. Because we know we want to get it over here and then pull back onto this topographical line. Then we're going to pull in this one and have it follow this way as well. Was it that one or was it this one lower here? That lower one is in the water. Though we could start the key wall here. Better if we start a little bit up behind it. Start at the river. Let's honestly. It really is trying to start us at the at the water's edge. Let's just try this. Have it follow the water's edge. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna make me delete the rock. Anarchy? I've already got anarchy on. Yeah, rocks are a problem, dude. <sighs> we might have to get rid of these rocks. Yeah, let it go ahead and get rid of that one rock. I need the topographical line in order to route this properly. Um, I'm going to curl that in, though. I want to curl it into the side. But this is how we're going to start terracing. Let's see. Get our topic yeah, topographical lines back on. We're going to follow it as well, as best we can. best we can. We're going to try and be really meticulous about this because it's going to make a difference for the rest of the terrain that isn't touched by this. We want to leave the natural terrain as it is. And we want to build around the hill. I'm going to build around the hill as we see it here. Uh, okay, so this is an area where it's going to try and pull back. And we're going to, we're going to follow it. We're going to let it go. This is an area where I'm probably going to delete this and have a road that goes south, but we're still going to have this wall continue this way. Just falling right on it. Because I don't know where this is going to end exactly. I think right there, and I know how expensive this is, but our money has gone up while we've been doing this, so. We're going to go ahead and cut that off there. Take off the topographical lines, and I think we're going to just nudge these corners in until they look properly tapered. We want no cliff wall. If we can. Like, we don't want it all the way out here because that's a nightmare. We want to pull this in where that wall is as minimized as possible. Right there is probably good. We're going to go do the same thing over here. Here we go. Take this curl back out. We can have it like that. I really do wish it would curve in uh, properly. Let me see if I can get it to do that.
Having it do something like that feels much better. And then we lower it a little bit, I think. Let's take that edge right there. Come on, bitch, get down there. Right in the middle. I think that that's ultimately what we're looking for. It's a nice edge. It does take care of the water. It looks like it's going to try and flood, maybe if it rains a little bit too much. But the key wall itself is going to work. Um, getting that rock pit back there would be nice. But we have this... We have this where it doesn't look like it's going to be doing much. It just looks like we have this really long fucking wall of China, Great Wall of China going on. But what's going to happen is we're going to put a lower key wall in as well. And when we do that, we're going to actually do a full... Um, hey, welcome. Little Clutch. What a name, dude. Nice. We're going to go ahead and do terracing, which we practice a lot in our first city. This is our second city ever. Welcome, everybody. And... We're trying to figure out how we want to do the water side area with all of our high density probably going down in this little cup that we're doing. Let's take a look at our topography. This line right here is probably going to be what we use to define the lower section. And then notice how we're going to carve out all of this space for ourselves. But we need that wall probably to come in right here. Probably to follow along the bottom area, which I think once you see what we're going to do with it, it's going to be beautiful. You've just got to trust me until that point. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You've got to trust me until that point. We're spending a lot of money on, on key walls, but it's worth it. Okay. We're going to have it also come out of this guy, but probably, probably start right here. In valid shape. It doesn't, okay, it doesn't like actual junctions like that. So we're going to start it right here. And then... Bear with me as we do this. It's going to take us a minute. There we go. We're going to just follow that bold white line right under the mouse. This is a nice long straight section. We're going to let it wiggle a little bit. We follow the bold ones because they're easier to chase. If I, if I do this, I know I can find it again, right? There we go. I'm enjoying cities very much. My second city, I find myself... I'm not quite obsessed with the game, but I'm, I'm in my head thinking about how I can configure streets and roads in different ways to make it all come together and work really well. And I'm obsessed with public transit right now. Absolutely obsessed with it. Here, I think we're just gonna let that be a big old curve as it comes back into the same area. And I think we're just gonna let it curve into right there so that we can drag it with move it. Yeah. Yeah, the intersection marking tool is so nice. We, uh, I've been using it. Here we go. I'm gonna do something just like that. Oh. It does turn it a bit. It does turn it right at the end there, which is not ideal. Uh, but it's also not the worst because you can see, well, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> not the worst, certainly not our best. Uh, let's see if we can do that. Let's bring it down a bit. I think right there is about the best we're gonna, we can, we can ask for. I am okay with that. So we've got all this space now that we can flatten out. Look how beautiful that's going to be. We have a little two-lane street. We can still we can still get a whole lot of zoning to go through all of this. Uh, and then maybe this has a bridge that goes across right at the bottom and tapers up. Who knows? You made your city too walkable. That's I have the opposite issue. I, I have everyone doing public transit, but I want to make them more walkable. Yeah. I don't know if I want to make a dam. I don't think I want to make a dam. It would connect in nicely, but I really just want to get this area figured out. And let's go ahead and do the terracing uh, part of it. Let's go ahead and do the terracing. So we're going to pull from the very back of this guy right here. And then we're going to push this back to the other key wall. We're going to let there be a little bit of dirt that goes against the key wall. So it's not perfectly flush. So we're going a little quick as we go along that edge. But otherwise, we're going to flatten this out. I'm going to flatten this out. This is going to give us a really buildable area. 
We practiced with, uh, oh, we could do a water feature here, but I really want to build this as part of the city. We're going to pretend that this bowl doesn't exist here. This whole bowl doesn't exist. I'm just going to pretend it was never there. The beautiful thing about terraforming is that we can, we can decide what features we want to keep and what not, you know? The map maker made the map, but we're the ones that have to live with it, you know? Yeah, I've got some of the multi-step uh, key walls myself. I'm using one of them from a content creator pack. Uh, really, really enjoying it. Some of them have stairs, but I've never seen the, never seen the citizens actually use them. Yeah, that section went a little bit too, too low, so we're gonna have to go in and reconnect it. Yeah, this section dropped down a bit. Right there, we can let it taper back normally. Let's go ahead and turn off the topography here and see what went wrong with this. Yeah, it started to lower right about there, which we want it to stay on the line that it's on. It did lower quite a bit. Yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and feather that down. I don't know what happened there. Let's feather that down a bit. Which is gonna take this thing getting destroyed for that to come back. Let's redo that section. I don't mind it lowering a little bit at a couple points, but that's not where it needs to be lowering. Yeah, okay, so let's just, since this is pulled back up, I think that it's gonna be fine. Let's push this up just a little bit more so we get the, the line where we want it to be. And then let's put our key wall back through. It can connect in right there. <laughs> nice clutch. Nice, dude. <laughs> All right. Let's get that to go through. There, let's take a look at that. Let's turn off the topography. Yeah, that looks much better. Right up against the edge, we've got some, we've got some varying tapering going on against the wall that I think makes it look a lot more realistic. Um, because even though this is a flattened area and we know that we're going to be able to build into this really nicely, um, we do want to continue terraforming the rest of this. Uh, we can also do another key wall back there, and I don't want to terrace a lot. We had a lot of small terracing in our last city. This one, we're doing some more major terracing uh, to make buildable area out of area that it was not buildable otherwise. All right, let's get this bitch figured out. Come here. There we go. I just, I just love the idea that we're going to have this really high density sort of beat zone uh, going down the rest of the city. Like, I think this is just gorgeous because we're going to have some high density, probably residential or high density commercial, uh, followed by a, almost like an, almost like an amphitheater. You know, the person behind you is sitting slightly higher. You're going to get this beautiful terracing. And, and eventually, if we build up there, you're going to, we've got to build up there. Come on now. This could be the pinnacle of the city. Um seeing everything around it but then everything around it can see it this is like the crown jewel of the city if we build this right but a fucking stadium up here because i really want to build a university in this city all, all of the all of the stuff we didn't get to in the last city i want to do here airports university um fishing industry because it's pretty much the only thing we're going to have. What the fuck? Is, this guy's doing donuts in my bay. Get the hell out of here, cargo ship. He's carrying bullshit and crack cocaine is what he's doing. All right, we need to get a... We're probably going to break right there so that we can get a road to come down. Although we're probably going to have a road that comes down this way as well. Though we will probably bridge. And I, I left this open because otherwise it would connect in a weird way. But what I want to do is get this to go just like just like that, that feels very good. So now we can have a bridge that um, goes here and sort of, yeah, we have a, a road that does like this. It does a T jump or a Y junction there and either goes along here on the key wall or it goes down to the lower section. Oh, y'all, that's gonna look good. We'll have a couple other positions where it comes in, but that's gonna be the, that's gonna be the main downtown area right on the uh, waterway. Which we may have a we may have an entertainment pier that goes out like this, right there. I think that would be cute. Could probably even have one over here as well. There we go. Hey, the Tony, welcome back, dude. 
too close? What do you mean too close? You can't just say too close in chat and not say anything. We can get plenty of zoning down here. We can get one nice four-lane road that runs down the center. And then comes back over here, Y junctions off to go around that side and then fill it in. It's too close. It's not too close, Marks. Let's chill. Oh, it's too close to the water. Now they're not going to drown. And if they do, fuck them. They, they are the ones that chose to live on the water's edge. They're going to be fine. <laughs> they're going to be good. Okay. So the plan is to expand the city. Um, which we've kind of done. What we need to do now... Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that that got pushed back so far. Yeah, that's what the key walls are for. Come on now. <laughs> this eight lane ends up probably... Okay. Let's take a look at this. I'm going to become very green for a second. All right. Where am I at? This probably ends up going about like this. That's probably what that eight lane is going to do. We're going to have a four lane. This four lane like right there that follows it is probably going to end up going around the hill. Probably like that. That's probably how we're going to have that set up. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably exactly how we're going to have that set up. That's ugly as hell, but you know what? It's going to work. It's organic. We're not doing any grids. There we go. What mod lets you draw those lines? Oh, no, it's not a mod. I have a screen painter for OBS. Uh, okay, yeah, that's probably how that's going to end up looking. That's probably how that's going to end up looking. I'm just not doing grids. We're not, we're just not doing grids. Uh, last city, we did a lot of gridding. Really cool gridding, but I'm just not interested in doing gridding. Here we go. Look at these buildings, man. They're getting some uh, height over here. Very nice. Uh, shocking that they're able to stay in business. <laughs> we just don't have a lot of population. We're about 200 down from what our average was, and our income is reflecting it at being about half what it was. Uh, because we've added all these roads, so all of the maintenance on these roads is uh, killing us. So we really do need to get in and start zoning, and we're going to have to run a power line this way. Probably along this road. Let's run it this way. There we go. It all the way down here to where we would see the first bit of residential zoning, which is going to be right over here. So we'll start with we'll start with this and probably zone all of that. Probably zone that afterward, and then start zoning into this. It's probably how we're going to do that. So let's go ahead and get this connected. There we go. I am a voice actor. Yes. Pick my mind a bit. Absolutely. You have zero idea how, where to start. Okay, so here's what I would recommend to anybody who wants to get into voice acting. Um, two things. Uh, one, you need to get serious about it. There's a lot of financial investment if you want to be real about it because you've got to be able to set up a home recording studio if you want to really do it because you're not going to get into a studio studio until you're already kind of doing it. Um, it's one of those things where you're almost always going to start solo in your coat closet and then go from there um, it, it's not terribly expensive but the sound treatment takes a lot of effort you're going to probably want to dedicate an entire closet like a closed door closet 
is usually what a lot of people do for their home recording studio. Um, I have my room that I stream in is fully sound treated and um, isolated from the rest of the house in a way that that works. But basically, you need to figure out how to make your recording studio at home and then you need to find a mentor in the field that offers coaching. Uh, then you need to start working on training yourself once you're ready to be professional. Once you're a professional the moment you start dedicating yourself to the, to the work, right? The moment you say that you're doing that full-time, you're really truly pursuing it, you're a professional. There's no other requirement there. But eventually you're gonna wanna pursue creation of what's called your demo, um, which I am still, I've been doing this for two and a half years, I'm still working on my demo because of other stuff getting in the way. But um, your demo is basically your business card in your portfolio in the same way that any artist or any actor would have a portfolio. Your demo is your portfolio. Um, once you have a demo, you're able to take on real big, big boy work. And at that point, you're like, you're living, you're living the dream as long as you're able to land your auditions. Um, but find a mentor. They will guide you through everything. Do not get a mentor that says that they're going to be able to get you a demo within a certain time limit because they're ripping you off. But yeah, that's my advice. Listen, uh, Clutch, join the Discord so you're able to PM me. And then we can talk more. I could recommend you to my mentor, <laughs> someone who I know is really, really good and would love to work with more people. But there is there is a significant financial investment you have to be willing to make and maintain. It, it's not, a lot of the equipment you have for streaming is probably gonna help you, but you're probably gonna wanna have a dedicated voice acting setup and not use the stuff you're using for streaming. Because streaming, like I'm using a Shure SM7B, which is fine. Um, it works for stream. I would not use this as a professional recording microphone. Not that you couldn't, but I wouldn't. Um, I have an AT2020. Um, this behind me actually is my recording setup with uh, a laptop I have right here right off camera that I use and it's right over in this area. Um, I shut my door, I've got a blanket on the back of the door and everything. I've got sound treatment all over the walls and uh, even looking at doing it on the ceiling. But you've got to be able to get studio quality out of a, out of a room, usually a closet is what people do, but anyway. If you want to know more, uh, talk to me on Discord and then we can go through it. I'll walk you through what I know. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll hand you off to somebody who knows more than I do. <laughs> All right, what the fuck was I doing? Oh yeah, zoning residential. Okay, um, here's the problem. We don't have water over here. I think I'm gonna do a water tower right over here seems like a good idea because we need another one anyway. There's some noise associated with it, hey. This seems like a good spot for a water tower, actually. It's kind of out of the way. There's not a lot of activity over here that would cause people to want to come over here. We don't want the water pipe going down Main Street. We would want it going down a side street, I'm pretty sure. That way, if we have to do maintenance and tear up the road, we wouldn't be tearing up fucking Main. Yeah. Follow the channel. There we go. Gets it. You probably spend more money on your streaming setup. If you have an XLR, XLR microphone, you're probably spending more on that than you are on your voice acting setup, your home recording studio, because uh, like the AT2020 USB microphone has been engineer approved. Engineer contact of mine said this is studio quality. Coming out of a USB microphone, I think there's a lot of misconceptions about USB being bad. Old USB is, yeah, absolutely but I've got my best sound on a USB microphone. This one's an XLR. This was back, but I had this microphone back before USB 3.0 was a thing, which is what makes USB really good. Is if you can get a USB-C or a USB 3.0. It, ha it has the bandwidth to get really good audio on it. There we go. Get comfortable working in Audacity or whatever other audio thing you want to do. I'm going into teacher mode, man. <laughs> I can't help myself. Hey, we've got water for this district down here, and we've got additional water for the entire city if we let there be water. Okay, so our water availability looks fine now. We may even want another water tower. Oh, no, no. We just need this one because it's not fully connected. Um, which is why we built the power lines the way that we did. Now our water availability is great. We just need some power, which we could do over here. We could have a little area that's just for power supply. You know what, I think we will. I think we're gonna have a little road that just goes and connects in there.
I think that's fine. Then we can have a um, we can have a power tree, uh, power plant over here. It's going to pollute a lot, but it won't hit the it won't hit the water tower. We just want to be very careful about that. It's not going to hit the water tower. Okay, and now we want to get the power line connected. There we go. I really like having the power line land right next to the building as opposed to just being in its area. You can send the questions now, yeah. Uh, I just won't see them until I'm done streaming, that's all. <laughs> You'll be fine. You're fine. Always fun to find other people who are interested. Um, it's one of those things where it's, it's a lot like streaming. A lot of people are going to want to be a voice actor, but very few people are going to actually be able to make it. A lot of people want to be a streamer. Uh, very few people are going to make it. It even, doesn't matter if you deserve it. You can do everything right and still fail. You can do everything right and still not make it. Uh, it's kind of the downside of streaming. Content creation is so saturated that it's not about being good. It's about being noticed and you, that you can't control anything but the quality. You can't control if you're actually going to get seen. That's the unfortunate part. You could be a great voice actor, but you can have bad marketing, bad agents. Yeah. It's a lot of overlap between the two, which is why if, you know, if you're doing one, you're probably going to be very comfortable doing the other. I definitely am. Republic of Anime, what a name. Yes, Weebs, welcome, you're in. There we go. More residential is in. Very, very good. We can get all the way down here, and I'm going to let him do it. If you're not connected to power, it's because you built your house in a dumb location, and you deserve to be sad and cold. Is that a four lane right there? No, it's a two lane. There we go. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of the city so far. Yeah, I... Uh, I think that that would be nice is to be able to turn off the power line requirements and just say if your city has power, it has power. The building has power. Our processing status looks like it's great for everything. We want to start looking at city services now. This is the part that gets a little bit expensive, and this is also why I want to kind of get some of this residential building before I start investing in that other stuff. What's my plan for park areas? Um, so I'm planning to have a park in here that's going to be like sort of uh, the Central Park in New York. Um, gonna have a little park over here as well. There's a, so two parks right there. I'm thinking we might do something like a zoo up here or maybe a university that has a bridge that goes over to, ah, oh, that's what it is. That's gonna be Stadium Island. Oh, fuck me. Right in the mouth. Just fucking dislocate my jaw. Ah, oh, that's gonna be so cool. Oh. Okay, hear me out. This island gets terraced, but there's no way up except a bridge that goes across from this area, which you drive up to from some fucking road uh, that gets it up here. And this is where a university is based. Maybe it comes across here. The highway comes south and then comes in. That's the only way to get in here. Oh, we bring the highway down. Dude, that works. We could do that. Cool. Okay. Because I, wa I want to do a university. We can make this a college town. College city. Really. Alright, speed three. Come on, move in, bitches. I need your taxes. I also need population quotas. Let me do some rough districting. Uh, just so I know kind of what areas I want to have. Just roughly this, roughly this. Follow the channel. Yeah, the that's good. Mm, don't let Coco kill me, chat. If I don't stream tomorrow, it's because Coco got me and it, it was your fault. Just always remember that. We're going to have you take that little section down there. Cozy square, go fuck yourself. Yeah, this is good. This is about how I want that district to be set up. We're going to end up doing it really nicely like this, but uh, for now, that's how that'll be set up.
All right, man. Nice. Move in. You act like you don't have a massive demand for residential. You do. You're a gluttonous little slut. You can't help yourself. Come on now, dude. <laughs> we have a lot of open roads we need to fill in with housing. We could do nice little commercial areas on the inside of this if we decide that we really do have a lot of commercial demand. Um, but if I see any abandoned commercial buildings, then we're going to know that we don't really have commercial demand. It will just continue filling in forever uh, residential. It will never get sick of residential. Pretty much. A lot of the other plan for park areas is going to be just bulldozing houses and putting dog parks in for the most part or finding certain blocks that are just going to be for entertainment um, and not zoning them like this is not going to get zoned on the inside only on the outside um, I probably should have made it where this block didn't get zoned that's probably it see a little clutch there we go have a good night man thanks again for the raid appreciate it See these buildings? These these cars are doing three U-turns right on the same road. Yeah, I need to put some services down, but I'm waiting until I get a little bit more income so that I don't go negative. I don't want to be in the red. I know it would only be temporary, but I'm still uh still holding off on it. I need to figure out where I want these to go, and I think that right in this area is good, because it's gonna serve most of that neighborhood. I like having a street that is for public services. Let's have one firehouse that's gonna cover most of this right across from the clinic. One police station. There we go. Everyone liked that. We're also gonna look at schools. We're gonna go ahead and do a regular elementary school right in that area. Right in that same area. Not everyone's gonna get access to it, and that's okay, but through the buses, they will eventually get access to everything. The high school doesn't need to be right there. The high school can be like right over here and serve the edge of both of these communities, which sounds good to me. I do want a church. I know one of these areas, I want a really nice church. And I think I'm gonna do it right at the back of the park here. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. That church is going to be really beautiful right there. Okay, let's go ahead and do a little bit more zoning just so that we get access to... We're going to need to move water in down here. We're going to do that just so that we have access uh, to power. See, we are negative after putting all those services in, but I don't think we'll stay negative for long. There we go. There we go. Get that covered in there. Perfect. Looking good. Just need to get power over here. Uh, this guy can connect. Let's see. Have a power line right at this back corner goes across the street over to this side and then connects in right there to the back of that little area just to make sure it's connected so these guys should start leveling look how look, look how greedy they are demand for residential let's give them child care so that they can know how generous we are right by the elementary school There we go. We also need elder care over here, which we can put that right by the church. I think that's a good spot to put it. And again, this is taking us very negative, but um, but now we're down to only seventy sixty seven thousand dollar dues. Wow. We're gonna need to build in a whole lot more residential than that. That's for sure. But that's what we're here for. After those services are put in. Then it's time to blow out the entire neighborhood, get all of these guys going. And 
have them pay their taxes. We're going to have to build water out here as well. We're just going to want to be... Well, hold on. That's not residential. The circle becomes commercial or nothing at all. Let's do that block. Put that off. Let's do these blocks right over here. We might as well do the whole thing. We might as well. There we go. We might as well get that whole neighborhood going. If there are any of the services that really do need to get moved over here, then we can. Um, we have very limited time before we do run out of cash. I don't believe we will. We do have that potential. So let's prepare for that potential. There we go. There we go. Always feels nice to be able to put the water pipes down, man. I mean, as long as you can afford them. If you can't afford to put water pipes down, putting them down does not feel good. At all. There we go. That's fine. That'll work. It is going to genuinely start wanting... Um, commercial, which we can put a little bit of commercial over here, but man, just sit on speed three and let it go. Ugh. This area is getting filled in. Once we unlock the ability to do high, high density, oh man, we're going to be great. We've got Butler Hills coming in. Once we give them a bus route too, they're going to be even better. Butler Hills. What is that area covered? Is that covered down here as well? No, it's just that. Okay. Emerson Square is going to be all of this, including the park. There we go. Garland Heights and Butler Hills both need to get their bus routes going. These guys don't have access to power because they're moving in in dumb places. I'm not giving you power, you idiots. Move in someplace that you're able to actually get access to power. Come on now. We need to go ahead and, and get these guys zoned. I probably should turn off the zoning for these other areas just because they're going to move in dumb places, dumb ways. Right now, they're still preferring this rather than going all the way through this, which I don't blame them. This is still a lot faster, but what we can do is say no through traffic or no heavy traffic. This is only for residential cars or, or pedestrian traffic to go through. They are using the eight lane, but really just to get to this. They really don't like the idea of going through the tunnel. Um, maybe giving them this connection is not what we need to do and force them to go through this. You know what? I know what I'm going to do. Yeah, we're going to have the eight lane do this and go up into the university area. Get rid of this tunnel. Have this just connect around like that. Get rid of that segment. I want them to have to use the eight lane. If they want to go back and forth, I want them to use the eight lane. Still don't have power over here because they're being dumb. But they'll keep moving in, and as they do, they'll eventually... Oh, fuck it. Oh, come on. I'll give them I'll give them a little bit of temporary power. There, you heathens. Have your stupid Wi-Fi. Now the money should start pouring in. We're going to be positive again, which is great. Yeah. Things are, things are looking all right. There we go. Now we can get rid of our power line. These guys should connect all to each other. Yeah, it does. Perfect. Ah, that's looking good, man. It still says it wants commercial, but it doesn't really want commercial. Why do you place water lines down the roads like that? Um, 
I like it just because to me it makes more sense than gridding it over randomly. Um, as far as I understand, this is how water pipes would be placed anyway, because if you have to do maintenance, it's better to go through the street than it is to, um, the water mains go down the roads, IRL. So to me, it makes sense to do it in the game as well. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's it. I don't know how to adjust the speed limit of this road. Maybe... There we go. Edit speed limit overrides for segments. Uh, this says 50. We're going to force this to be a 30. You're going to be a 30. Um, people may prefer, and we, we could even do a school zone that's a 20. If I can find us, where's our school? Our school's here. This is not going to be a 40. You're not going 40 in a fucking school zone. We're gonna make this a school zone. I love that we can do that. School zone. Okay? You go around that shit. You don't go through here. There we go. They're actually they're respecting it as well. They're still going through here because it's a 30. Um Swap these to miles per hour. That way I'll understand it. 20 kilometers an hour doesn't make any sense. Oh, Jesus. Don't crash, you bitch. Oh, I've swapped it two kilometers per hour. Uh-oh. Well, that's going to take a minute. Oh. And may very well have crashed. Who knows? We may not even know yet. There we go. Not football fields per washing machine? No, no, no. Miles per hour. It's trying its hardest. It's probably going to go through and edit every single road. Which we're going to have to undo it because I don't want to do kilometers per hour. I thought it... Oh, there we go. Let's do miles per hour, please. Oh, it was fine. Okay, good. Uh, we're going to make it... We're going to make it 80 <laughs> down main... <laughs> We're going to make it 80 down main, including in the tunnel. They should prefer to go down main then. 80? Do we really want 80 down main street? Yeah, fuck it. Welcome welcome to Suckbuckville 2.0. This is Cocotopia. We know how to drive 80 miles an hour down main and be safe. There's got to be a better way to do this. Every segment has to be clicked if we're going to do it this way. I do want Main Street to be fast. Maybe, maybe we'll go 60. <laughs> Ultimately. Am I winning, son? Anony, I am winning. I am indeed winning. It's good to see you, man. Welcome back. Oh, oh dude, I did so. Okay. Damn, dude. Hey, Don. Are you winning, son? I'm Don. <laughs> yes, I am. I fucking love that sound bite. Don went so far out of his way to make it for us. People may prefer to get on Main Street if they know that it's going to be... <laughs> yeah, you're going 80 up and down this bridge. No, 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 no. I see. We're, so we're setting it to 50 miles an hour. 60, 65 would be highway speeds. 110 kilometers an hour. Yeah, let me swap this to miles per hour then. Okay, so I'd want you to be doing 40 on the bridge. 40 on the bridge. But as soon as you get off of that, you're able to do up to 50. 30 miles an hour on this main street doesn't make any sense. Yeah, 50 is good. 50 is good. 80 miles an hour would be a lot. That's We might make the highway 80 miles an hour. They've got... Damn, dude. We may need to add lights if we're going to give them that kind of speed. Let me see if I can access tunnel. Yeah, see, this is still 30 down here. The tunnel probably should be 30 miles an hour, but if any of the segments are 30 miles an hour, then they're all 30 miles an hour, let's be real. <sighs> yeah, I think this is good. We still got our school zone, which I want to make 20 miles an hour, because that's what school zones are. 
20 miles an hour maximum. School zones. There we go. Highway should be 100. You think so, Anthony? Shift. Okay. Control click. Shift click does the whole road. That's for lanes. Okay. We'll try it. We'll set the in, we'll set this entire road to 80 miles an hour. Ah, I see it does every segment between nodes. That is a lot faster. Thank you for that. Hey, Mud, how you doing, dude? How's the development of the Gulag going? It's great. We're on our second city now. We finished our first city. Well, we, we got to a stopping point with our first city. We're like, I want to start over. So we did. And now uh, we're controlling speed limits and uh, making great decisions for the citizens of our city. Yeah, let's go 20 miles an hour and find our other school zones. I don't remember where our other schools are. Fuck's sake. No poop volcano? No poop volcano. That's going to be a 20. These are 25 through here? I feel like these main roads should be 40s. It just makes sense. Maybe 30 going through here because we've got crosswalks, but like... Forties are for getting shit done. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. I'm fine with that. Let's take a look at our public transit. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since we've looked at it. Going well. This one always stays busy. Just always stays busy. And all it's doing is connecting this circle to the next. We could make all the roads have no speed limit. That is absolutely something we could do. Should we do that? No, of course not. But it would be fun. Sterling Circle over here. This probably should be Sterling Street, let's be real. Instead of Myrtle Street. This ends up being Sterling Street all the way down until Broad Street. It's White Street all the way through here, which probably should be Uptown Street, but nah. Uptown Circle Road. But we are going to do some change in here. Uh, absolutely we are. Garland Heights is looking good. We're not making that much money, but we will be soon. We just got to get the rest of our districting in. Some high density would be nice. Um, we've got a bunch of services, so these buildings should be upgrading here pretty soon. Let's get a bus route set up in here. Just for Butler Hills. Butler Hills, I think, is going to lead into Garland Heights. One stop at Garland Heights. Let's have the Garland Heights road meet right here at the high school. Let's do Garland Heights. There's a good spot. There's a good spot. Ooh, that's three alternate lane crossings. This is only one, but it ends up doing a roundabout. Let's go ahead and remove that. Yeah, fucking chill, dudes. You'll be fine. I do want to stop in the middle. This isn't bad. It has to cross itself one time, which I normally don't want to do. Two vehicles max. Two vehicles max. There's really... I, I can't see this needing more than that. We'll see. Probably not. There we go. All right. Butler Hills. We're definitely going to have a bus stop that's right on the middle of this street. This is the main street for this entire neighborhood. Right on that street. Right on this street. Right right there. That's beautiful. Let's 
Let's pull that one back. Oh, fucking chill, dudes. It'll be fine. That's probably the only way that that all gets taken care of. Here, I think we're going to have already 13 people there. Jesus Christ. Let's go three buses. Three. Uh, I almost want to add a stop that's over here. Right on the high school. Stop at the high school. I think that's good. We also have a crossing here if they want to. We're going to add a crossing across this. Or they have one right there, so they can exchange these two lines as needed. thinking about how this might be possible to uh no I don't see it a way to make this not cross itself I don't think so hey Liam how you doing man I'm doing great it's good to see you I hope you guys are having a good weekend so far. A lot of you guys, it's pretty late up on a Sunday. We're looking at some public transit for a new pair of districts that we've just panned out. We're making about a thousand a week right now. We were making about two grand and then we expanded our city and now we're making less. That's okay though. Normally what we would have done, and we have a big demand for residential again, these districts aren't large. That's the thing. These suburbs don't end up getting very large. Have you played the recent player made hell mod for Remnant? It's harder than Apocalypse. No, I haven't. I also play on easy because I, I was speed running the game and easy was faster than not easy. I was never interested in playing the game to make it harder, personally. Uh, I felt the game was sufficiently difficult to still be fun. I tend not to play... Uh, tend not to play games for the masochism aspect of it. <laughs> for the most part. Absolutely, we're going to add a crossing here. Absolutely, we're going to add a crossing here. And I think we can add a crossing right here in the middle as well. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, rezone this all. That's okay. Oh, no. There we go. I'm going to delete this building because it's just, it's very small compared to the lot that it's in. It should be a much larger building right there. There we go. Some of these, like, I really wish this had been big. Like, I could turn off the zoning for this little part of the street. It'd probably get this whole section, though. Yeah, that moved in much better there. A duplex, nice. Visitors last week, six. We added the elder care. It's not really paying for itself. But it's a service. It doesn't have to pay for itself. Yeah, absolutely. V. Tony, you're absolutely right. We have a lot of road maintenance uh, for all the extra roads we have that are not then being zoned for residential or other things that are going to make us money. You're absolutely right. Um... Absolutely. Yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna like offend me by pointing out things like that. Um, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not that kind of streamer. We can have adult conversations about what's working and what's not. You know, I want to encourage you to not be afraid of like getting a ban for pointing out. We're trying to help, or at least helping to make interesting commentary. Um, no, it's not gonna curve down like that. Because I'm, I'm learning the game, dude. This is like my like, second city ever. I don't know shit about this game. I don't know shit. That almost just works. Yeah, that's about how I want that. Oh, we've done it! The whole point of expanding was not to make more money, but to make this population threshold 
uh, which we've done. We can get tourism specialization in for some of our districts. That'd be nice. Our commercial areas can get some tourism into them. Um, we have access to NIMBY, finally. I've wanted NIMBY from the very beginning. Uh, okay. Old Town is good as well. Uh, only residents and businesses can use the area for motor vehicles. Ban other motor traffic. Businesses and residents. Old Town is probably going to be used throughout the city. NIMBY is no loud noises. Oh, no, not NIMBY. Sorry. I've been saying NIMBY this entire time. No, it's Old Town. We want Old Town for the whole thing. There we go. Boost connections. Outside connections in the area can handle more vehicles carrying tourists. Increasing the amount of visitors in the city. Outside connection traffic capacity is increased by 20%. Cost 10000 a week. Boats, trains, and private cars. Interesting. Electric cars. Everyone living in the policy area must switch to electric cars if they own any cars. Combustion engine ban. Citizens with combustion engine vehicles will avoid the policy area, but if they have a destination within the area, they will travel to it. That's kind of what Old Town does. Mm, and we've got really nice roads now and some pedestrian walkways as well. We have an oil power plant, fire stations, a police headquarters, nice, a hospital. So we've got full on city now. We've gone to some city now. Medical laboratory. Mm. Oh, this is good. Some more assets as well. Okay, so I want to look at the, the eight lane. And see about getting this to pull out right here. Do we still have roads underneath? We do. We need to get rid of these. There we go. I want to pull this out and get this up onto this level. which I think I placed the road where I wanted to enter, which is right here. Have it do that and see how it tapers down. Nicely, really nicely. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this. We're just gonna move it. No, not the road. We're gonna have to delete it, okay. Real quick, they're going to run out of power, but that's okay. There we go. That's fine. Now it's it's set up with that road. We're going to get this to connect in nicely here as best we can. I want it to go forward just a little bit. Five units. And then start turning. I think that's all right. And it's really only eight lane because I like the idea of there being a lot of traffic through here um, in the sense that it's going to go through the university area, which this is going to get brought down. We may have it go up to that level, but it's otherwise just going to be flattened out to about that, that altitude right there. Uh, and from there, Well, we don't need all the lanes right now, but I'm planning to have a lot of tourism, and I know that this entire city is going to be running up and down that road eventually, and it, I don't think it's going to take long for it to get there either. I think the more the more we expand, the faster we're going to see it, because we are forcing all traffic between these two sections to go on the eight lane. They're forced, and I think we're just going to see more and more uh, the longer it goes. I think it's absolutely one of those things where we keep it in we keep it in eight lane right now. Even though we d we did build it with enough buffer that we could go from six to eight later on, but man, I think just starting with an eight is going to feel good. I'd rather spend more on road maintenance personally. I think spend more on road maintenance and make sure that we have the road that we're looking for. I do want to get a university up here. We just don't have any money. Uh, it's not that we don't have money, it's that universities themselves do not make money until 
certain other conditions are met. And I don't think at a 5,500 we even can think about universities. No, we can't even touch them yet. Even when we could, it probably wouldn't be the best best thing for us to do. I think we just need to be focused on expanding the city as much as possible. In lieu of a highway, we've got an eight-lane road that runs down the middle. Yeah. Hmm. There's a lot of planning to do to get from there to down here. A lot of planning to do to get from all of this down to here, but we need to fill it in first. And it takes up a lot of space. We have very sparse suburbs right now. Very sparse. But it'll get figured out. I can't wait to get high density. What is our next threshold? It is 8,500 and at that point we get access to universities. And we get high density residential. Ah, I think if we just continue, if we just continue the existing plan of expanding rapidly, uh, we can come back in and make this stuff look nice later, but we need to get the functionality of having the high density up. Um, get those apartments in, get more people, get more income, because we're really not doing much industry. Uh, although we could, we could do a fishing industry along the river and maybe this is a little area that supports it or maybe we have a, we have a little area over on the other side. Maybe that's what this is. This is the fishing industry for the river. Let's take a look at that fishing industry. I, I'm pretty sure we have access to it, yeah. Yeah. We have a bunch of salmon. Oh, look at the, look at the salmon we have in this river. Shellfish out here. Got a little bit of tuna right down here. Anchovies along this beach right here. I mean, look at that. We've got plenty of fishing to do. Yeah, I think that could be good. I mean, we could set it all the way back up here. The entire river is salmon. Whoa. I think I'm definitely going to set up our highway is four-way so that we can get a nice highway connection in here. We know that our rail line comes in this way. It's going to have to cross through the city. It's going to have to. There's no way around it. Unless we have it continue up on this topography and it goes back behind here. Right through the forest. It goes up. Yeah. It goes up on an overpass right over this comes back around and down, goes around this corner, crosses the river here, goes around the back of this topographical line, freight train, yeah, freight yard right here. When we disable highway access for them, they have to take the cargo to the freight train. I think that's good. I think that's a good plan. I think for cash, so that we don't have to worry about expanding in order to make money. What? Oh, fuck, is it 12 already? Every time. Okay, listen chat. We're going to do a fishing industry, but it's going to have to wait until next time. For those of you on YouTube, you'll just go to the next video. We're already there. But <laughs> for those of you on Twitch, that's going to be